So it's been like close to a week. I don't actually remember what we were doing. Uh... Oh, there's a crash there. Okay, well, let's try and get to that before the sun goes down. I'm guessing it's not a big craft. Yeah, small. So we might be able to get there before the sun goes down. Uh, maybe not. In which case, I don't really want to <laughs> have a night mission. You know, if someone requests a night mission, I'll, I'll think about it. But until then, it's kind of not really worth it unless you absolutely have to. Uh, but in any case, let's get some more training done. If he doesn't deserve Colonel. Alright, that'll do. Oh, Hannah's back. Cool. Uh, you can have a stun rod, my friend. Give Anna a grenade. Oh, these guys don't have armor. I'll fix that up. Um, you can have a stun rod. You can have a grenade in hand. Uh, actually, all these guys should be having second grenades as well. That's kind of what they're there for. You can have a stun rod. Who's missing a grenade? Apparently no one, but I still have a spare, there we go. Alright, and let's just sort out the armor before we leave. Uh, they can use power suits as spares. Again, mostly just in case my base gets raided while I'm out. I don't really want them caught with their pants down in personal armor, or even worse, no armor. We have a good number of flying suits, what are we manufacturing? Medikits and an Avenger, but in terms of equipment, just medikits. Back to armor. Lots of flying suits. Just about the whole squad has them now. Um, we oh, we do have enough lyrium to make more. All right, so I guess I'll at some point make more flying suits. Now, perhaps. <laughs> Actually, I'll finish the craft first. Wink. Um, five days. Oh, I guess that's fine. And let's go to... It's not there anymore. It timed out. <laughs> well, never mind. Fly Europe. Interesting. Ah, you can go home, dude. Let this guy do it. And we might just trail along with the Sky Ranger in case he lands. Yep, yeah, he landed. Alright. Well, it's daytime. Oh, no, he's not running us. Hmm, so there might actually be a base there. Nah, looks like he's left. Um, so I'll just have a quick look around. No, oh, yes there is. Interesting. Right next to Berlin. Retaliation, Central Asia. Um Maybe once I have the adventure done I'll go I'll go to the base. Until then it seems like a bit of an unnecessary risk. 
Stanley bases are pretty fortified. And like yeah, I need the I need the alien commander to progress to the end of the game, but at the same time The Avenger is only five days away, so it's not much of a wait. It's not the bases don't time out or anything. They're not like um crash sites. There's really not strictly a rush to do anything about them. And in actual fact you can get quite a lot out of just leaving them doing their thing forever. Because you can just constantly intercept the supply ships. And yeah, my hover tank is Finally in the field. <laughs> Made it quite a while ago. Only now deploying it. Uh, I'm gonna stick with the strategy of keeping my people on ground level though. Just so that everyone can get that delicious smoke cover. It's a little bit sparse right there, but that should be fine. It'll um even out a little bit over time. Um yeah, if you can smoke there, do it. Yeah, that'll do. Not perfect, but good enough. And one over here. Perfect. Maybe do two squads of four. So I'll have a good squad, a mediocre squad, and then a squad of two that are really bad. And uh, those are the guys in the power suits, they'll just hang back. And uh, wait for the guys with, you know, better armor to find something for them to shoot at. I guess they'll just stay there. They're complete rookies. They're kind of a liability. Alright, so... Sounds like a couple in the UFO. And... This... A guy near some doors. But not those doors. Maybe these doors. Maybe not these doors. Um... Might just flit around up here. And I'll spread my guys out slightly, just so they don't die to grenades and that sort of thing. I was thinking about making them a little bit more um, sparsely packed, but the UFO door's right there, so don't have heaps of options there. I might get the two used to sort of cover the right side from the back. I think that's where they'll, most of the shooting will happen. They'll just move them there preemptively so they get a nice shot off. Nice and quick. Doors. No doors there. No doors there. Interesting. Senior Tanky, would you look through the window for me? And see apparently nothing. Oh, there's a door open there though. Hello. I can't tell what he has, but I'm guessing it's heavy plasma. We'll just uh, back off. See if we can. Sp That's a different guy. Okay, well. Oh, he didn't go to the um. Up. Mm, Under Armour is not very tough. Only a hundred. Yeah, I don't know where our other friend went. Odd. Well, we'll just chill there. And the rookies will take the shot. And have probably miss every shot. Oh, that's looking alright. Oh, nicely done. Birgit? Is that how you say that? Oh, he has amazing. He or she? I don't know. She. She has amazing firing accuracy for a rookie. 67 
as well. Wow. You guys are insane. The the two well, I guess there's three stats that are really good to get on a rookie's late game. Strength, firing accuracy, reactions, and these guys well strength being the least important, and they just need enough to carry all their equipment, so like thirty, which is perfect here. Uh, those are really hard to train because for reactions to be trained you need to actually get into reaction shots which are really risky this late into the game most of the time and firing accuracy you need to you know shoot things and kill them so oh that's a heavy plasma that's a pistol all right so what's up with the guy he was in here. Maybe before we answer that question, let's kill those guys. Uh, try and get the heavy. Oh, perfect. And we'll use the other guy for action training. So, back to tank. Where the hell did our friend go? Maybe just sit there. It's fine, he doesn't do any damage. We should probably move up. As it stands, we can't really take reaction shots. A couple guys over here. Just to protect that cluster of buildings. And a couple guys on the other side. And then this squad of six can move up. Maybe to this line here. Yeah, that looks good. Uh, the main concern at this point is like someone with a heavy plasma coming out of the ship and then showing us how that works. Because even with flying suits, heavy plasma can be pretty lethal. They get a good roll on the damage. Just wandering around, okay. I still don't know what happened to our friend. Maybe let's sit inside. What? No, he's still there. Oh, Alright. But, um... Our... Other friend, unless it was this guy, which seems unlikely. Our other friend is just sort of hanging out. Don't know what happened to him. Just in case, I'm going to move this guy back and look the other way. Still no action. Move these guys up. That'll cover that corner. Get you to check inside. Just inside the other building as well. Alright, that looks pretty clear. And I guess the tank will just hopefully find the guy who was inside the building. I don't know. I'm actually not sure where he went, because like, he hasn't gone out here, he hasn't gone out here, so he must be... And this door doesn't look open to me either. But he must be in this area down here, or he's... I don't know, like in this corner? Or something? Because I checked the roof and he wasn't there. Let's move our guys up. Get that juicy reaction training. Except for this guy who needs to keep looking there because we don't know what the hell is happening. Hello. 
That's a heavy plasma. Okay, so what shot us and did it hurt? It did not hurt. So what shot us? Pistol, okay. So that's the guy who was um, outside the UFO earlier. He's just gone in a direction he didn't expect. Pretty all over the place firing, but it worked in the end. I guess that's the important part. Might as well get everyone to move up now that he can't move backwards. So there's still the guy in the UFO. And I still don't know if someone's inside here. Let's open it up to take a look. They're not there. So I... yeah, I don't know. Heavy plasma, grenade... holy shit, it outright killed her. What the fuck? That's retarded, dude. Look, this guy's not hurt at all. This guy's not hurt at all. For some reason she died though. Like, what? The armor difference is 10. 10 is not lethal damage. Not even on the worst rookies. That's so garbage. Like, look at how big this explosion is. And then realize that the people directly next to the explosion took no damage, but for some reason, right in the middle of the blast, someone died. It just doesn't make any sense. Like, alien grenades do less damage than heavy plasma. And again, the guys right next to it are both totally fine. So it doesn't make sense. I, I'm pretty annoyed at that. Uh, plus she was like a really good rookie. Like, let's look at her replacement. Uh, Pietro. Pietro, like, Pietro has good firing accuracy, but like, look at his reactions. If he ever gets into a fight where the reactions matter, he's just gonna die. Same for Math Matthew, is that is that just an auto spelling of Matthew? Jandy Jong. Jandy Jong has middling reactions, they're still not good enough to probably survive a, a shootout. Gasan. Gasan has okay reactions. Juzu has good reactions. Camille is towards good. Pelov is bad. Like even some of our best people, 37 bad. 58, middling to good. 66, good. 37, bad. 59, pretty good. 55, okay. 60, good. 67, good. 36, awful. 66, good. 62, good. 63, good. 64, good. 34, bad. So like, reactions are pretty important to have on a rookie. Ah yeah, well. Let's sell our stuff. Lead of alloys, that's good. Must have forgotten to sell some corpses last time as well. Because we had um, snake man corpses as well. Which, obviously we were for just fighting sectoids, so... I guess before the previous um, save I just forgot. Alien Harvest Central Asia, so they're gonna land. We might be able to catch them while they're landed. They're going pretty slow. Mm, I got the Sky Ranger in the air. Is it a medium? Just before we pick our crew, it's small. Alright. So we can keep being greedy with the people we put on. Although I'm still confused about the grenade kill. Anyway. Wait, what? Where's he going? Uh. Like, I don't, I don't want to click directly onto the craft, because then if they do land, we're going to end up on a nighttime mission, which is kind of garbage. Not gonna lie. Q 
Okay, they're going the other way now. Now it's a daytime mission, so I'll start following them. Uh, you have no guns. I'm not sure what this is. What do these buttons even do? Okay, that one <laughs> that one still works. This one still makes us move in. Uh, but yeah, let's just uh, follow it around. There we go. So they're being trailed by this, this foreign craft, which... <laughs> moved a very distance because I told it to aggressive attack despite it having their weapons. And the aliens on board were like, yeah, yeah, that, let, let's just land. Let's not worry about that guy. I'm sure it's nothing. I got the hover tank on the ground. For its own safety. That does not look like a pistol. Unfortunately. Um, mm, yep, not a pistol. Also didn't damage us though. Uh, so let's smoke out our asses. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Um, you can throw it into the building, that would actually be pretty good. No. Oh, look at that. Wonderful. Now they'll have trouble seeing us from inside. And just one on the ground level as well. There we go. Perfect. Once again, we'll try and let the rookies take some shots. Uh, I might just reinforce the middle area because we're pretty uh, clumped up right now. So we're going to want to fan out a little bit as we go. I did definitely not mean to put my guy there, but it's fine. Pietro. Your stats bad? Yeah, your stats are bad. Forgot about that guy on the roof. Guy nearly shot his friend. Just another day in the office. Oh, that's a heavy plasma. That might kill us. Still a heavy plasma. How's tank? Tank is not doing too hot. <laughs> Tank's seen some rough days. While you're up there, look through the window. And shoot this guy in the back. Like the backstabbing scum that you are. Oh my god, you missed two of the shots. Okay, that's alright, I forgive you. And... Tank... Tank might need some backup. Good shot, what the hell? And the second shot was pretty good too. Second, third shot was pretty good too. Um, face check. That's a pistol, we don't care. Okay. Oh, there's a third guy. That's a heavy plasma. Let's run away now. Alright. Oh yeah, we need to fan out here. That looks about right. Nope. Your is right there. Oh, we need another couple guys on the left. Put him one square down just so we can see the door while looking diagonally. Um, how about you make a line of fire? Close. 
this. And there we go. Line of fire problem solved. There's a third. Wait. Yeah, that was the pistol. Yeah. I'm pretty sure that pistol can actually not kill this guy under any circumstance. Maybe if he shoots him from below. But yeah, everything else should be fine. Hmm. I could reaction strain on him. I mean, it's pretty safe around this area. It's very unlikely there's a fourth guy in that building as well. I, I, it might not be impossible, but I'm 50% sure it is. And even if it isn't, it's still really unlikely. <laughs> so, uh, you don't really need help. You do. It'll sound like maybe three guys. Why do you guys all have such good reactions? Okay. There we go. Someone with bad reactions. Kobe? Yeah, Kobe. And definitely this guy. Can't even make it over. The wimp. Let me know the um, top left of the map is clear so we can just face the UFO for now. UFO movement. I think it was a door a couple turns ago. Hello? Surprisingly, the floater is floating. So we will shoot him out of the sky while the tank goes exploring. So that's how the map is also clear. Means they could still be in the building. Move my guys across a little bit to cover it slightly better. Reaction shot. Get him. No. Nope. Oh god, he got shot in the back. We didn't even see it happen. Well, I guess we kind of did here, but not enough to shoot back. So somehow they saw us through this line of smoke, but we didn't see them through this line of smoke. That's really unfortunate. Mm, he was right at the top, so if this guy was like two squares down he would have been fine. And that's what we got for being greedy with reaction shots. Ugh. Alright. I think I told him to shoot the ground. And he succeeded. <laughs> there we go. So those guys are actually not safe there because the smoke doesn't cover them enough. So the guy floating with the grenade, which is primed, I might just get him to smoke like down there. So that doesn't happen again. It's really unfortunate. These guys... Oh, here we go. I was gonna say they might not even be able to fire back because their actions are so bad, but... Clearly that's not an issue. Uh, moving a little bit closer. Get the tank to come around the back. Uh, he can fit there, perfect. Now oh, the only doors are here. The only one that's open is that one, so... I don't know what that means. There might still be a guy in the building. That's pretty concerning. Good shot, good reaction as well, actually. All that reaction training and 
days gone past paying off. Cost is just a few corpses, it's no big deal, right? Ha 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 ha. Okay, there's someone inside, but it was definitely a pistol, so I have no problem keeping that guy alive. It's doing the same thing each turn. Would you like to fire through the window? I bet you would. Would you like to also get shot through the window? I bet you wouldn't. Please fire back. Thank you. They're not really doing anything. I'll move up another square. Four, three. And we still don't know if the building's technically completely clear, so I'll just keep that guy over there. The tank will just navigate its way into the trees and sit. Why can't you see there? Oh, his turret's pointing the wrong way. Oh, all right, that's fine. I don't know what they're doing in there. Maybe panicking. Everyone they know is dead. What's the bet? They walk out, and they grenade one of my guys. <laughs> Seems kind of likely. I don't think anyone on my current squad has extremely high reactions. Apparently they're high enough to shoot first though, which is good. At least against floaters. Against tougher aliens, probably not. Ooh, four shots. He didn't shoot. He looked at us, but he didn't shoot. That's super weird. I'm not taking a chance though, because this guy's a heavy plasma. I don't want to reaction train on him. Not when you can one shot my guys. Eh, he's unconscious. For some reason there's still another guy on the ship who's like, nope, not gonna come out just yet. He has a rifle, I can train that. I'm worried about the grenade though. And that's it. Need to buy another soldier. <laughs> God damn it.